morning. Uh, my name is Courtney Kirk. I am the project manager for the Central Hill Playground, and I represent uh, the, the Public Space and Urban Forestry Division for the city of Somerville. Um, welcome today to this wonderful moment, the ribbon cutting and opening of the playground. Um, I'm super excited to, to have you all here today. And um, this has definitely been quite a ride on this project. Um, it's almost uh, two years to the day that uh, the, this project was released for bid. Um, and then we had the pandemic start. Um, so this project has definitely been quite an effort of teamwork in the city. Um, I think we had our first uh, digital um, ground or a digital site walk and a, our first bid opening on Zoom for this project. Um, so thank you very much, Angela Allen and the purchasing procurement contracting uh, de department. Um, inspectional services and all the pandemic relief, um, the uh, incident command team. <clears throat> you know, we had to have co COVID protocols for construction, all sorts of, all sorts of things. So I am so happy to be here and have this project open. Um, thank you to uh, George Proakis and Louisa Oliveira from OSPCD um, for all their support. And I'm going to hand this over to Mayor Ballantyne. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for, for being here. I'm so happy that it's uh, also sunny uh, for the Central Hill Playground ribbon cutting. <clears throat> Renovating a project, uh, as we all know, as uh, Courtney just said, <clears throat> takes a team effort. So I really want to take a moment also to talk about my team that's worked on this. You know, a big thank you to the Division of Conservation Services for awarding uh, the park grant on this project. And thank you to Melissa Cryan for joining us uh, and celebrating today. Also, the, com the Community Preservation Act Committee for dedicating CPA funds to this project and our own public space and urban forestry staff and the crew that did the work on the playground of this renovation could not, without your help, without your work, with all your patience over the last couple of years, uh, it couldn't have been done. So I thank you all for your hard work. And the neighbors, <clears throat> thank you for being patient uh, while all this work has been happening. Uh, I know that uh, sometimes uh, when parks are taken out of commission and temporarily closed, it can be an inconvenience, especially to groups from the Y and the local daycares that often visit the playgrounds. Hopefully, you'll agree that the newly renovated Central Hill playground was worth the wait. We have two new equipment um, <clears throat> plays for children ages 2 to 12, and a new playground incorporates reading and learning themes in honor of our neighbor, the Central Library. We also have um, a misting pole. Here's one. <clears throat> so on those hot days, um, this will serve as this oasis and with plenty of shade trees and these misting poles uh, to help everybody keep cool. The Central Hill Playground takes advantage of the surrounding slides built into the grade of the hill with plenty of seating where you can enjoy a book from the library. And of course, uh, the playground is just one of the new things in our larger civic campus. Along with the new Somerville High School and the Central Hill Playground represents the changes we are working on to make the Central Hill a civic campus with services and amenities that best serve our residents. Thank you for coming today to celebrate the reopening of the Central Hill Playground. It's exciting that this project is done and certainly with spring here in the air uh, and beginning we'll uh, all be getting out and enjoying more of the the wonderful weather here so thank you and um, i'd like to also invite up to speak your ward counselor ben ewan campen good morning everybody uh, i'm ben ewan campen i'm the, the ward three city counselor i'd also like to 
Uh, welcome my colleagues, Councillor Strezzo and Councillor Wilson. Thank you all for being here. And thank you to all of my colleagues for, for voting for this. Um, we were just saying before starting of all the equipment here, it's particularly convenient that a podium was installed in this new park, which I'm sure the kids will love. Um, so Courtney mentioned this is the, the two year anniversary of the pandemic, just about, uh, of the state of emergency. I also want to point out that it is the Ides of March, which I googled this morning. For the Romans, the Ides of March was a day to settle your debts. So I just want to say, as the mayor said, we have taken out a major debt in this particular neighborhood of patients. <laughs> They've had GLX construction, high school construction, this construction, and I am very, very happy that today we can start to repay that debt uh, with the opening of this incredible park. And it is a double whammy that it's right in front of the library, two of the best things that local government does. Um, so th this is quite literally one of the best parts of this job. Um, so thank you all so much for being here, and thank you to everybody on, on the city staff who made this possible. And it is my honor to introduce Heather Highmark from the Community Preservation Commission, uh, who, who were one of the main driving forces to make this happen. Hello, good morning. Um, so the Community Preservation Act had a small, big part role to play in this. Uh, small in that our role was mostly in financing, uh, unlike the architects and the staff support from the city who had to work every day to envision this place and make it happen. But big in that financing is a big part of making any kind of uh, public improvement happen. So uh, it is with great pleasure that here in front of our historic library and our new high school and our new Central Hill Playground that we can really enjoy the impact of uh, public work and investing in our social spaces. Uh, the Community Preservation Act has our, our, our annual public hearing this month where we get to hear from citizens about your priorities. We fund projects in public space and recreation, historic preservation, and in uh, affordable housing. And it's uh, important to come and participate in that process as we set up our annual budget for the year. Uh, and we'll be voting on new projects in the fall. So um, these are your funds and they make things like this happen in your own community and in your own backyard. Thank you. It's time to cut the ribbon.